Hi, and welcome to the Control the Cat Challenge. In this challenge, you need to make the cat controlled with the arrow keys. So when I click the green flag, I'm using the arrow keys to move my cat around the screen. As always, if you think you can do this challenge, jump in a scratch, try it. But if you can't or you're stuck, come back and watch the hints. All right, let's make a new project and talk about how this works. So to control the cat with the arrow keys, there are many ways. And if I go to events, there's this event called when space key press. And I could use this event for the up arrow and use that to trigger an event and make the cat move. I'm not gonna show you that way. I'm gonna show you with if, if statements because I find in Scratch, events are a little slower and it's less reactive. And when you use if statements, you get a more responsive. So I'm going to drag out an if statement and I'm going to say if key up arrow pressed, I want it to move up. So there's multiple ways I can do this, but I'm going to show you with the move block. So there's two things I have to do. I have to first point in the correct direction and then move. So if it's up arrow, I need to first point up before I move, and that's why I'm doing it first, remember, top to bottom, and then move. All right, go to events, connect with the green flag, let's test it out. Click the green flag, click up, nothing happens. Well, you'll notice when I click the green flag, flashes yellow and then stops. In order for this to work, you have to check the if over and over again. What does something over and over again forever? The forever block. So one of the most common mistakes, I suggest you check that. So I'm going to put the forever block in. Click it. Now if I go up, it goes up. Perfect. But I can't get down. Well, all I have to do is duplicate this. So if I click on this if statement, right click on it and say duplicate, I can put the if underneath. Make sure the if is, I'm going to stop this. Make sure the if is not inside each other. And it's really important to also change the direction to make sure it's down. Run it. Down, up. All right, this looks great. Except I don't like how the cat's moving up and down. I want the cat just to face left and right and not really face up and down. And the way you can do that is if you go and click on direction, there are different modes for with the direction you're pointing. And by default, it's all around. But if you do left, right, the way this works is if you face right, face right. And then if you face left, it switches and face left. And that's the mode you want for the challenge. All right, I'm not gonna finish this challenge up for you. I've given you enough hints that you can do this yourself. Keep on trying and remember to test as you go. Make a prediction of what you think the cat will do. And if it does that, great. If it doesn't, figure out why. All right, good luck and keep on scratching.